This could be a little strange. Looking at myself, reflections of my mind. It's just the kind of day to leave. That's not going to work because today is Thursday and that song is Tuesday afternoon. So, yeah, I'm feeling crispy. Um, I hesitate to say that I've been working too hard because my work involves this talking to it's frilly. So wanted to share something with you. I do playlists every month on Spotify. It's something I started doing for my art project, Hi-Fi Jones. And it's just a way to uh, sort of to push myself, actually, to find new music. And then sometimes I, you know, I throw in stuff that's old that you might have forgotten about or just, you know, an old, an old classic, an old favorite. I went to the bank today and was just thinking about music and playlists and things because I was singing Moody Blues. And then I got into a conversation with the bank teller about Foo Fighters. She is a huge Foo Fighters fan one of the only bands I can think of where I really, really, really like the front man, Dave Grohl, but I just don't like the music. I've never been able to get into it. So if you're a Foo Fighters fan, perhaps you can tell me the best album for me to check out. Here's some Foo Fighters trivia for you, though, that I shared with the bank teller. And despite the fact that she is a huge Foo Fighters fan, she didn't know this. Ha <laughs> ha, bank teller. Dave Grohl, I think he broke his leg or his ankle or something like that. So there was a tour where he was performing sitting down on a throne. Who did Dave Grohl lend the throne to because they, too, had an injury and were not able to stand up? Hmm? I'll wait. Axel Rose. That's correct. She didn't know that. Maybe you didn't either. Now you have a bit of useless Foo Fighters trivia bouncing around your head. Have a great Labor Day weekend, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget, mixtapes, Spotify. Bye.